to bless the Lord. Shandile Rekosaya Rekodare Rekodare Rekosaya Ikare Roshi Eranos Jesus We magnify you tonight. We bless your name tonight. Come on, lift your voice, lift your voice. Eranos Ekaire Dash we give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. Ayera skandele rosh, nera rosh, kalere daros. Jesus, from the bottom of our heart tonight. We magnify you today, King of all kings, Lord of lords. Come on, lift your voice. Now leave, Rose and De Catayelero. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Nayarosha. And as you magnify God as a miracle in the house. There's a testimony in the house. There's a healing in the house. There's an outstretching of the hand of God tonight for the deliverance of someone for the testimony of Jesus Christ in your life. Now end. Come on, magnify him. Daily asale. Often as I breathe, may my whole life be expressions of your will. Daily as I live, often as I breathe, may my whole life be expressions of your will. Cry of a father, hallowed be your name, hallowed be your name. Daily as I live, often as I breathe, may my whole life be expressions of your will. Daily as I live, often as I breathe. May my whole life be expressions of your will. We cry out the Father, hallowed be your name.
Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and they are safe. The name of Jesus protects. The name of Jesus provides. The name of Jesus heals. The name of Jesus is a master key. Lift your voice, lift your hand and thank God for the name of Jesus. Begin to bless the Lord for that name. Come on. Precious name. Oh, how sweet. Hope of earth and joy of heaven. Precious name. Oh, how sweet. Hope of earth and joy of heaven. Shadi Oruko Jesumu Niba Ibanu Jere Osi Fi Itunu Fuwa Foru Kona Badura Precious name Oh how sweet Hope of earth and joy of heaven Precious name Oh how sweet Hope of earth and joy of heaven Father tonight we come before you in the name of Jesus Thank you because what we bind will be bound. What we lose will be loose. What we declare will come to pass. The name of Jesus will be in this place to set the captives free. Healing will be done. Miracles will be done. The testimony of the Lord will go forth. Glory will be released. Favor will be released. Testimony will follow. Somebody will experience grace. Grace upon grace. Blessing upon blessing in the name of Jesus. We turn together and bless the Lord tonight. Come on. Give God the glory. And as we are doing so, let us celebrate all those who are joining us all over the world tonight. We have about 30 nations. Tonight is a special evening glow and power and night. Come on, give God a praise. Come on. Give God a glory. Thank you, Jesus. And so because it's a very special night, we have people who normally will connect with me for evening glow, and I have also to be here in power night. I will not be able to do the laying on of hands. It's just going to be declarations tonight. Are you ready? Two mighty declarations for everyone around the world. The first one, the Lord laid on my heart to, to cancel every demonic mark. To cancel every demonic mark. Then after that, there's going to be an anointing with oil. And we're going to prophesy that you're walking a new season. Yeah. Under a new oil. Yeah. As we are in the month of June, the month of fasting and praying in KRCC. And also the middle of the year. God is going to cause this year to answer to you. Yeah. Testimonies will follow you. Yeah. So whether you are in New York, you are in Jamaica, wherever you are. South Africa, Zimbabwe. Anywhere you are tonight, the whole of the United Kingdom, connecting with us tonight, power will touch you where you are. Glory will touch you where you are. Canada, I can see Nova Scotia, Canada. Wherever you are tonight, God will touch you in Jesus' name. Deliverance will be done on Mount Zion. The name of the Lord will be glorified. Shout amen with power. Come on, say amen again with power. The Bible says in Galatians 6 verse 17 from now on let no one trouble me for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus the only mark that should be on your body is the mark of Jesus someone say the mark of Jesus you see you need to carry the mark of Jesus which is more like the logo symbol of Jesus nowadays when you see anything you look for the logo say okay that is gucci that is louis vuitton that is this we carry the logo of jesus and so anything that is not the mark of christ must be cancelled tonight i want to cancel 11 satanic marks that carry that is upon some people and they don't know they just do not know the reason why they are fighting these battles they don't know that this thing has marked them 
when you go around the city of Lagos, Nigeria, for those of you who are around the whole world, in Lagos, Nigeria, sometimes people start building their house without permits. So when the, when the authority gets there, they put a red mark. They'll seal the place. They put the mark of the government, which means you can't continue to build. But tonight we are canceling Satan's marks. And I declare and decree someone will have a testimony. We are in the season of fasting and praying. As we bind tonight, God will bind with you. God will lose with you. Shackles will be broken. Testimony will follow. Healings will be done. Shout amen with power. The first mark that many people carry and they don't know and they go all over the place, they don't know why they are in trouble is the mark of opposition. They don't know why they just get opposition everywhere they go. Jeremiah 119, he says they will fight against you, but they shall not prevail against you. For I am with you, says the Lord, to deliver you. Everyone within the reach of my voice tonight, this special night, 9th of June, 2023, anyone carrying the mark of opposition, in the local language it is attacko, which means they just oppose you. Tonight we cancel it. I said we cancel it. I declare we cancel it. Everyone who raised their voice in opposition to you, opposing your dream, opposing your vision, opposing your destiny, we cancel it. I said we cancel it. Any voice in the realm of the spirit rising to oppose your vision, to oppose your dream, and you are wondering why am i going through so much you didn't know there is a voice of opposition tonight upon this altar i declare and decree that every voice of opposition is silence for your sake it 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 is silence for your sake in the name of Jesus. Some people will just rise. They don't even know why they oppose you. They just make up their mind that they will be hinderers of your dream. Anyone within the reach of my voice. Here or globally. That some people have ganged up to oppose your good vision. Your good dream. Heaven will silence them. The second demonic mark that many people don't know they have on them. And they go all over the place is the mark of rejection or disfavor when you carry the mark of disfavor it means anywhere you go nobody shows you favor whereas this is your year of favor or your amen is weak the bible says to declare the year of the lord's favor and then the bible says thou shalt arise and have mercy on zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time. The word set time is from Hebrew Zaman, which in Arabic or Hausa, they say Zamani or Zamani, the appropriate time for things to happen. Who here believe that the time has come? I'd like you to scream, the time has come. Say it again, the time has come. But I'm telling you, I'm sure, I don't know if you've met people with disfavor. Anywhere they enter, trouble comes. Issues break out. Tonight on this altar, anyone carrying the mark of disfavor, wherever you got it from, we drop it from your life. We drop it from your life. We cancel it from your life. We drop it from your life. We cancel it from your life. We drop it from your life. We cancel it from your life. In the name of Jesus. People who used to see you and love you. And suddenly they don't even want to see you. Your voice irritates them. Your presence irritates them. From tonight, we cancel it. It was for the wrong reason. It was for the wrong reason. It was for the wrong reason. But one of the sons of David was lusting after his own sister. And then after he forced her and slept with her, 
You couldn't even stand her presence. She looked like, like waste to him. Tonight, anyone who's been looking at you, like, why is she in this office? I'm looking for ways to sack her. We cancel it by the blood. 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 Now, wherever you are, you need to say amen with power. There are mother-in-laws who are looking and saying, where did my son get this girl? I'm going to make sure I separate them. Today we're going to the realm of the spirit. Any voice that declares a departure for your life from where God has ordained you, we silence that voice. Every voice of opposition that is standing against you, speaking against you, where they are considering to bless you, considering to lift you, and the voice is speaking against you, we silence the voice. 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 In the name of Jesus. Shout amen with power. Sometimes they may, some people say it like they don't mean it. When I was in Gatwick Airport, and the mother rebuked her teenage daughter, they are white folks, I think they are Americans, and they're walking towards a flight, and the mother rebuked her older daughter. As the mother was going, the girl turns to her sister, I hate her. Her own daughter announcing that she hates her, and she didn't know she's sowing a seed, every seed of hatred that have been sown against you anywhere. Look at me, do you know there are people whom somebody has sown bad seed in their mind and suddenly they withdraw some things they wanted to give you they say I didn't know that woman is like that I didn't know that man is like that and they don't investigate because whisperers will also tell them don't go and ask him because they know the truth will be revealed anyone who has bastardized your name who has sown the seed of hatred against your destiny we cancel their words we nullify their words we cancel their words nullify their words cancel their words from today people will look at you with favor even if you live in a chicken coop favor will look for you favor will connect you shout amen with power I have a feeling it was that kind of attitude they had to a man called Obed Edom. Obed Edom means Obed the man of color. He was a man of color and he found himself in Israel working as an ashes packer because the Bible says he was Obed Edom the Gittite which meant he was a Gentile, he wasn't a Jew. So when they were inviting people to go and bring the ark they did not give him invitation card. But when trouble came, they dropped the ark in his house. They rejected him. God invited him. Tonight, there is a lifting coming to your house. There's a lifting coming to your life. There's a lifting coming to your house. There's a lifting coming to your house. There's a lifting coming to your life. Shout amen three times. The third demonic mark some people are carrying around and they don't know it's on them. They carry it all over the place. It's the mark of impossibility. Anytime they enter any place, things that used to be easy are no longer easy. Kaloshka, Hirano Kabarezodi, Ranoshka Libra Nizali, Ratakaka Protosadi, Ranashka, Italerabo, Ekaraya Rosia. Ah! For the Bible says, Luke 1 37, for with God nothing shall be impossible. Jeremiah 32 says, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. 
is there anything too hard for me anyone who has been carrying the mark of impossibility everybody gets their doors open for them when it's your turn the door shuts from today every mark of impossibility is cast you by the blood it's 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 cast you by the blood shout amen three times you need to say amen powerfully to this prayer because sometimes it baffles some people he said i'm a child of covenant and as a child of covenant things should work for me unbelievers go they receive when they get there the door shuts ah that must change whoever put that mark on you that said anywhere you go door should be shutting on you no 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 that contradicts the word of god from today doors will open for you anyone here you didn't know the mark of impossibilities on you we cancel that mark it's been on your grandfather that's why nothing works in your household nothing works in your extended family you have come to mount zion you have come to the city of god i stand on this altar tonight as a servant of jesus christ we say from today possibility 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 what they said you will never achieve your hands will handle it where they said you will never reach you will get there you will excel you will excel you will excel shout amen three times The fourth mark of the 11 is the mark of no helper, no mercy. No helper, no mercy. You see some people, you just see nobody is there to help them. When they tell you their story, you used to feel sorry for yourself. Ah, you say, ah, no, 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 no. There are troubles and there are troubles. They don't know they carry the mark of no helper, even when they are going somewhere that should bless them, something happens. But tonight there's going to be a change. Yeah. The brother told me how God intervened in his life. Did everything, nothing was working. They didn't go beyond primary and modern school here in Nigeria. Ends up deciding to join the Nigerian Navy. He gets there without certificate. Then he sends a brother to bring his certificate. That one puts it on the back of his motorbike and uses something to hold it. By the time that guy gets there, the wind have carried away all certificates. The only thing left was baptismal certificate. That brother cried to the Lord all night and said, God, I think I come from a family where things do not work. The family of no helper, no mercy. Arise and help me. Ladies and gentlemen, his name is Sunday Nathaniel. He became one of the greatest, eventually, when he left the Navy, he became one of the smartest men for, what's the name of it, Yebet's uh, company again? Data Sciences. He became one of the greatest computer uh, engineers for data sciences before he left Nigeria. He joined the Navy with baptismal certificate. When God rises for you, They'll look at baptismal certificate, they'll see Bachelor of Engineering. Are you ready tonight? Somebody scream, I'm ready. Say it again, I'm ready. When the man left data sciences, he became the sole contractor for all the airlines in Nigeria to handle their computers before he left. I remember flying with him several times. I mean, I remember when I was still pastoring in Nigeria, went to buy a musical instrument for Shomolu for Square Church. British Airways carried everything free because he's the engineer. Our tickets were free. I wish he continued there so I can be getting free tickets. When God decides to help you, I will lift up my eyes. 
to the hills from whence comes my help my help comes from the lord who made the heavens and the earth he will not suffer my feet to be moved from tonight upon this altar anybody who has that mark and they didn't know you carried it from your father's house or somebody put it on you when they carried you as a baby no helper no mercy we cancel that curse we cancel the curse we cancel the curse help will rise for you help will rise for you let somebody scream help 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 i declare to your life tonight help will rise for you help will rise for you somebody will rise and wipe your tears they'll put laughter in your mouth they will help you discover your destiny. They will push you into your purpose. Push you into your glory. Push you into your blessing. Push you into your favor. Somebody say help. Somebody say mercy. 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 I declare upon this altar tonight. Akadorono ziyabi. Ranashka halereba. I don't know who it is, but mercy will rise for you. Help will rise for you. Mercy will speak for you. Help will rise for you. Mercy will speak for you. Help will rise for you. Mercy will speak for you. Say, I receive it three times. Put your hands together and bless the Lord tonight. The fifth demonic mark that people carry and they don't know they need to break it is hindrances of fortune. Hindrances of fortune. And sometimes it's the kind of people they hang out with. They don't know that just as people carry grace, some people carry disgrace. Anyone who carries disgrace, I sever you from them. The umbilical cord that connects you with them I cut it from tonight I don't know about you nowadays because I love blessing 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 people every week I give away in millions but I'm beginning to watch now if I give you and troubleshoot up next I remove you from my list it means that you don't carry grace you carry this grace there are some people when you bless them, you begin to get calls of blessing. People want to help you. Doors open. There are people you connect with them, your life is great. There are marriages that change your life. Praise God. I said praise the Lord. Tonight, every hindrance of fortune. The Bible says 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 9. For a great and an effective door has opened to me. But there are many enemies. And enemies means enemy. They are inside me. Enemy. Many of them are near you. Enemy. Tonight, every hindra of fortune. Anyone who hinders fortune. Every hindra of blessing, every hindra of glory, every hindra of testimony trying to link up with you. We cut them from your life. 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 We sever them from your life. We cut them from your life. In Jesus' name. They hinder fortune. They hinder fortune. Lot was that kind of a person. He thought he was helping Abraham. He was blessed because he was around Abraham. But he was not helping. And the night he left, Genesis 13, the Bible says, and on the night the Lot left Abraham, the Lord spoke unto Abraham in a dream and said, lift up your eyes now and see 
you will not sleep the sleep of death. In your night season, God will visit you. He will give you a good dream. Shout amen with power. Jeremiah chapter 6. Wolves of the night shall not visit you. Demonic wolves. Jeremiah chapter 6. They are called the wolves of the evening. The wolves of the night. Every demonic dream. People pressing you down. You want to open your mouth and rebuke, but you can't pray. I rebuke their power. From tonight, from tonight, every hinderer, anyone that is not connected to the movement forward, we remove them from your journey. We remove them from your life. We cancel their connection. It's ringing no reply from tonight in Jesus' name. Shout him in powerfully. The sixth mark of the enemy is slipperiness of blessing. I move on. Slipperiness of blessing. Every time you catch a blessing, it slips out of your hand. That has to stop. It has to stop. From tonight, it has to stop. Slipperiness. You're always so close to the breakthrough. Always so close to the blessing. Always so close. Always so close. Last minute, there's a failure. Something has to change. I said, something has to change. I said, something has to change. From tonight, every slipperiness of blessing, we, we cancel it in your life. Judges chapter 6, verse 1 to 6. Every time the children of Israel gathered harvest, the Midianites will just come and carry it away. Ah! Enough is enough! From today, you have worked hard. You will eat the fruit. You will see the blessing. I said, You will see the blessing. You will eat the fruit. You will see the blessing. You will eat the fruit. You will see the blessing. You will eat the fruit. See the blessing. Eat the fruit. See the blessing. I anoint some hands in this place today. Many of you, millions have gone through your hand. But you can't quite see where it is. Billions have gone through your hand. But you are driving a rickety car and living in a house that has a spirit of its own. Sometimes you just hear yes, movement of the house. You don't even know what is moving. No, something has to change. If you agree, say amen. From tonight, from tonight, every slipperiness of blessing stops in the name of Jesus. Stops in the name of Jesus. Stops in the name of Jesus. Favor will find you. Favor will connect with you. Blessing will find you. Blessing will connect with you. There are people here, they'll be looking for you with good lands. Oh, you didn't say amen. They'll be looking for you with good business. They'll be looking for you with good favor. There'll be a lifting in your life. This is the year that you will ever know poverty. This is the week you know the poverty the most. From today, you are coming out of it. You are walking into a new season. Slipperiness of blessing stops. I anoint your hand again. I anoint your hand again. I anoint your hand again. That which you pursue, your hand will handle. And if you can say the best amen here, what your fathers never did, you will do a hundred times. What your fathers never achieved, you will achieve a thousand times. Some of us have done a hundred. A hundred is no longer enough. Some of us have done a thousand of what our fathers never did. So some people here who are here tonight, what your fathers never did, you will do 10,000 times. You will do 10,000 times. 10,000 times. 10,000 times. 10,000 times. 10,000 times. Shout amen like fire. Wherever you are, all those who are around the world, make sure you stay connected. 
The seventh mark of the enemy out of 11. I hope we'll be able to have anointing service tonight. I thought I was going to do this and finish in five, ten minutes. The seventh mark is frustration and abortion of dreams. Frustration and abortion of dreams. Frustration and abortion of dreams. People are aborting it. Ah! Look at me. And people don't even realize how nations are bought dreams. Some of the most gifted people on earth right now around the world are Nigerians. And yet in their own country, their dreams are aborted by a carcass. Oh, something has to change tonight. And there are people all over the world who are connected tonight. In, in Jamaica, in Canada, in South Africa, wherever you are, I declare tonight every dream, every vision that feels frustrated and aborted, I declare tonight you will give birth to your vision. You will give birth to your dream. You will give birth to your vision. You will give birth to your dream. Anyone Satan sent to abort or frustrate your calling, your vision, Tani Kuziari Rabata. Ah, you need to say amen with power. From today, heaven cuts them off. Heaven cuts them off. Some people don't hear your spirit. Look at me. If you are a businessman, you have your own business. Some people don't hear your spirit. They just see the money. They came to collect. They didn't come to connect. They are collectors, not connectors. Anyone who is there to collect. Who did not come to connect heaven cuts them off your amen is weak anyone in your business anyone in something you are doing in your dream they think they are big they think without them you can't do it they came to collect they came to shine today we cut them off we cut them off. 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 In Jesus' name. People who will make your vision happen. People who will make your dream happen. Dream makers. Vision makers. Who will run with the dream. I connect them to you tonight. They will come into your life. They will connect with you. Shout amen with fire. The number eight. Demonic mark. Because remember where we started. It says from now on let no man trouble me for I bear in my body what? The mark of the Lord Jesus. So you shouldn't be a carrier of the mark of Satan. Ah! Number eight is a serious one. The mark of non-achievement. The mark of non-achievement. You see some people, after years, they're still telling stories. I've lived in London 39 years. And you meet some people, they are still where you left them. My friend, Bishop Wedev, was telling me a story one time. Some guy, we used to criticize him. Now comes to apologize. And Bishop says, so oh, how are things? And he says, ah, we are still where we are. Oh. And you are a critic. No wonder you are not moving. We are still where we are. Yeah, you can't move. Because you've made other people's blessing your problem. Anyone who has made your blessing their problem. They will have problem. They will have too much problem. They will carry load. They will not be able to put it down. They will dig pits and fall into it. Tonight! Genesis 49, verse 2 to 4. It was his own dad that told him he will not achieve. It was, it was Jacob who told Reuben, you will not achieve. Not only did he tell him he will not achieve, 
he replaced him with Joseph. He made Joseph number one. Number 11 became number one. Until Deuteronomy 32, 33, where Moses reversed it and blessed Reuben. Tonight, anyone who have taken your photo where you are not, and they have been saying you will not achieve, they have been saying you will not move forward, this month of fasting and praying, and upon this altar where I stand, I cancel their declaration. I cancel their word. You will always be above. You will never be under. Always be above. Never under. 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 In Jesus' name. Put your hands together. Give God the biggest praise tonight. Not only you, your children will do well. Your sons will do well. Your daughters will do well. Even the one that have been slow and you're wondering what's wrong with this boy. Let him not bring shame. Your children will not bring shame. They will not bring you embarrassment. There will be testimony in your house. There will be glory in your house. There will be glory in your house. There will be testimony in your house. If you believe it, say I receive it. Number nine, number nine, number nine of the mark. Ah, this one is a deep one. It's the mark of, you know, <laughs> every culture sometimes used to have where they put destiny. To the Igbo man, your destiny is called your chi. To the Yoruba man, your destiny is called your head. Isaiah 1 5 tells us about evil head. Yeah. Evil head. When people have evil head, ah, if they come to your house, they scatter things. Yeah. Why should you be stricken? Again, yeah. you will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faints. When a man's head is sick, it means where he carries destiny is sick. Where he carries grace is sick. But something has to change tonight. Ole Mondesha. Ikabarozi. When you came into the world, except for a few people, you came with your head. Head first to announce your arrival. From today, you will be the head. You will be the head. You will be the head. In biblical culture, head is symbolic of being above. And truly in life, there are dogs without a tail. There are cows without a tail. There are animals without a tail. You will never see a headless being. It's not possible. It can't live. In fact, there is no part of the human body today that they can't cut off or replace but they can't cut your head. It's not possible. There are more than 8 million nerve endings in your, in your spinal cord. Unless they can suture it in one second. 8 million of them. It's not possible. So they can't replace your head. God has called you head. Anyone who doesn't like it, that's their problem. I stand on this altar today. I don't care if you were born in the gutters. Or you were born in the ghettos. Or you were born under the bridge i declare tonight you will be the head 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 somebody's here tonight the oil of god will find you the oil of God will lift you. The oil of God will find you. The oil of God will lift you. The oil of God will find you. The oil of God will lift you. The oil of God will find you. The oil of God will lift you. Shout amen three times. Just together, give God the biggest praise tonight. Number 10. Out of satanic marks. 11 satanic marks. 
Number 10 is bitterness of life. Bitterness of life. Bitterness, tribulation. Yorubas call it Ikoro. Look at me! Ah! Look at me. And tonight when I pray, I want your amen to shake this place. The rain fell yesterday here in Lagos. The rain fell day before yesterday here in Lagos. And in this same Lagos, on Oworo Shoki Road, there are two things planted. Bitter leaf, sugar cane. The same rain fell on both. One produced bitter. The other produced sweetness. I stand on this altar today. The rain of God has fallen on your life. From today you produce sweetness. You produce sweetness. You produce sweetness. You produce sweetness. You produce joy. You produce glory. You produce favor. You produce blessing. You produce testimony. You produce glory. You produce joy. In the name of Jesus. Shout amen with fire. Same rain. Different productivity. One took the same rain. Turned it to bitter leaf. And you can carry yourself right out around Lagos. And be telling everybody, I'm a bitter man. I'm a bitter woman. I'm angry. But tonight, you can also say, my life is full of miracles. My life is so sweet. Things are changing. Things are getting better. Turn around is here. So for you who are listening to me here, and all those people in all the 30, 40 nations around the world, my God, the number is increasing. I declare into everyone's life tonight, your life will turn to sweetness. Your latter life will turn to sweetness. The beginning of your life will be sweetness. Every area of your life will be sweetness. Not only you, generational sweetness. Your children's sweetness. Your grandchildren's sweetness. Your husband's sweetness. Your wife's sweetness. Your work's sweetness. Your testimony's sweetness. I stand on this altar today. Every trace of bitterness, tribulation, ikoro, we cancel with the blood. 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 In Jesus' name. Some people are waiting to hear that your life continues in bitterness. Suddenly they will hear. When God turned the captivity of Matthew around. We were like them that dreamt. God will turn the captivity around. Weeping may have been for a night. Joy is coming in the morning. Somebody on this place and everyone around the world. The bitter experience you've known. Out of it will comfort your sweetness. Will comfort your testimony. People who mocked you. Will follow you to church for thanksgiving. If you believe put your hands together. And begin to give God a praise. Come on give God a glory. Give God the glory. Oh bless. Oh bless. Oh bless. Oh bless. In Jesus name. Number 11 mark of the enemy. It's a terrible mark. Terrible mark. Diversion of blessing. Displacement of blessing. Diversion of covenant. Displacement of covenant. Blessing coming and it diverts. Blessing coming and it diverts. Blessing coming and it diverts. Look at me. When you say Israel, 
It means princes of God. And yet their blessing was diverting because there was sin in the land. That was why Gideon was grinding corn in the wrong place. Where was he grinding? Where, where, where? Huh? What kind of cave? In a wine press. Where they should be pressing wine is grinding corn. When there is diversion of blessing, you'll be doing the job that is not supposed to be the one you should do. It's grinding corn in a wine press. In the place of celebration, wine is symbolic of celebration. That's where it's grinding corn to survive. Instead of celebration, it's in survival. Some people, instead of living in overflow, they are living in overwhelm. Tonight, tonight, it's a very special night global for our power night here and evening glow. Anywhere you are hearing the sound of my voice, every blessing that was diverted, we take it back. Every favor that was displaced, we take it back. We check 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 it back. In the name of Jesus. We check it back. Every covenant God had for you that seemed to have shifted, we bring it back. Covenant of protection, we bring it back. Covenant of prosperity, we bring it back. Covenant of power, we bring it back. Covenant of progress, we bring it back. You will go forward. You will achieve. You will excel. I said you will excel. I declare again, you will excel. Every covenant that seemed to have shaken and you're saying, God, this is not how we discussed it. Could have been you that got it all messed up. Any which way, whatever had happened, tonight we take it back. Shout amen three times. Put your hands together. Give God the biggest praise you can muster. Give God the glory. Give Him the glory. Give Him the glory. Every of these demonic mass shall not rise again. Every of satanic marks shall not rise again. I said it shall not rise again. Somebody is hearing me tonight. Look at me. The place where you have suffered, you will go back and give testimony. The place where they had looked down at you, you will go back, they will look up to you. Shout amen three times. Somebody's story is about to change. Demonic marks are canceled. The one that followed you from your father's house, we cut it off from tonight. We sever it from tonight. We remove it from your life. Oh, come on, say, I receive it. As we stood in front of the Oba of Ikorudu yesterday, he had invited me to his palace because, well, this is the first time we'll announce it in KRCC, Nigeria. I've been talking about a major outreach I'll be holding around Nigeria once or twice every year. The first one is going to be in Ikorudu. From the 6th to 11th of November, the governor has given his years for us to use Igbogbo Stadium. We're expecting 50,000 people every night. It's going to be a crusade with a difference. On the last day, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be giving people medicine worth more than 60 million naira. Every day, we'll be packaging Two, two kilos of rice, two kilos of gari, two kilos of beans, two kilos of this, two kilos of that, and giving to people, 50,000 of them. We set up place with clothing, old women to take theirs first, old men to take theirs first, women to take theirs first, then men will come and take theirs, then young people will take theirs first for five days. As that is going on, 
talked to the governor. I am Pastor Femi Wend. I said, we need a Korodu General Hospital. We want to take it over. We'll bring two, about 20 surgeons who will be operating on people all through the seven days. Free. We will pay the doctors, pay the, everybody who work there, pay the surgeons, provide the medicine. It's not KICC. Christ's compassion to the rural world is a vision God has given me. And I'm putting everything I have in it. But you know, and I was there and the king had brought about 150 of his chiefs. Everyone in every, I mean, whatever kind of chief, including the ones you, you will see and run away. When you hear Oshubo in Yoruba line, you run. They were there to welcome Pastor Matthew with their stick and their walk. I said, today is today. But this is the town. Pastor Femi, that is the same town where I will have to walk from Bible College to town to come and buy 10 Kobo rice, which I will go back to go and cook in the college. This is the same town in which my three years in Bible College was difficult to survive. That was where I learned to eat once a day. And since then, I don't know how to eat more than once. Now that I have the money, I can't eat. That time, it was because there was no money. Life is very funny, isn't it? That's the same town where I will have to come to town to buy a cup of rice in Itailewa to go back, to go and cook. And that rise maybe once in a while. So tonight on this altar, I wasn't telling you something that hasn't happened. So somebody here, every mark of backwardness and limitation, the blood cancels it. You will have a new testimony. Glory will be on your life. Favor will be on your life. Testimony will be on your life. Your destiny will shine. Your life will shine. Your glory will manifest. Shout amen five times. Tonight they are going to bring the oil as you touch the oil and anoint yourself. I'm going to do this for only 10 minutes. I was going to do it for longer. But the Lord kept me in this thing in which I first did. Because somebody's going to have a testimony. I said, God is going to give you a testimony. I said, God is going to give you a testimony. I said, God will give you a testimony. He will give you a testimony. In the name of Jesus, something is changing. I said, something is changing. I said, something is changing. I said, something is changing. The oil is touching you tonight. Something is shifting. The oil is touching your life. Something is changing. Yokes are being destroyed. Something is changing. As the oil touches you, power is breaking the yokes of the enemy. God is giving you a new testimony. If you believe it, say, I receive it. There is power. In the name of Jesus. Hey! There is power in the name of Jesus. Hey! There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every yoke. To break every yoke. Break every yoke. Every there is power in the name of Jesus. Break every
Tonight the oil touches you. The oil is the antidote to sickness. James chapter 5 verse 14. Anyone within the reach of my voice tonight, the power of sickness is broken. Both here and globally, wherever you are tonight, I declare, the power of sickness is broken. The grip of sickness is broken. I declare the grip of sickness is broken. Say amen with power. It is this oil that breaks the power of demonic oppression. Mark 6.13 Taniri nozia. Anyone hearing me tonight? You've been under some kind of oppression. Can't sleep well. You've been having nightmares. Attacks on your mind. Attacks on your body. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. It is this oil that is the key to wholesome results. All round results. Exodus 30, verse 31 to 33. I declare on your life today. Nashki bronuza yilarita. Mari kutu yenderi kabarozi liba. All round result of goodness. All round result of favor. Wholesome breakthrough. Wholesome testimony. Wholesome blessing. Follows you from tonight. Follows you from tonight. Follows you from tonight. In Jesus name. Shout amen with power. When this oil touches your life. It lifts you up for headship. Matthew 6, 17. Because if we cancel satanic marks, then we must put on the oil of Jesus. May this oil lift you up in headship. All those who have ganged up to keep you on the same desk, right before their eyes, there'll be a lifting in your life. There'll be a lifting in your life. You will bypass systems. You will break protocol. You will bypass systems. You will break protocol. In the name of Jesus. Shout amen with fire. First John chapter 2 verse 27. The oil of God. Na bronuzia rene teki bronuzii is the key to supernatural insight so that you see what others don't see you receive what others don't receive ah somebody you've been living the ordinary life from today i engage you into the extraordinary i push you from natural to the supernatural from the ordinary to the extraordinary I anoint your eyes to see your ears to hear ah if you can say amen something is about to happen what the enemies are planning let them fly from here to to Ouagadougou in Burkina Faso what they are planning there shall be exposed to you anyone who sits to fight your destiny God will expose them. God will expose them. Testimony will be your portion. Insight, supernatural insights. Look at me. Many look, few see. John and Peter got to the grave of Jesus. John looked, Peter saw. John looked and came and said, It's not there. But Peter entered. He saw the cloth. He saw how it was folded. He knew that whoever has this cloth was not chased out. He did something. He folded it. There are people who are looking in Lagos and there are those who are seeing opportunities. I anoint your eyes. You will see goodness. You will see glory. Everyone around the world, you will see favor. You will see testimony. You will see blessing. You will see a turnaround. You will see a turnaround. 
you see a turn around you see a turn around you see a turn around in Jesus name Hebrews chapter 1 verse 9 look at me the oil is the key to uncommon gladness uncommon they just look at you and say why are you so glad you say I can't understand it I can't explain it glory to God the access key to the kind of gladness that doesn't make sense you see the Bible will not use the word happiness it rarely uses happiness you say glad or joy because happiness is based on happening if it doesn't happen you are not happy but joy is a fruit gladness is from the oil of God you have loved righteousness and hated lawlessness therefore God your God hath anointed you with what? above how many people? In fact, one translation says, above your brethren. <laughs> Glory to God. I will exalt you, Lord, for thou hast lifted me above my enemies. I will exalt you, Lord. Lifted me. I'm a man of Tonight, may that joy increase in your life. Please look at me. Politicians come and go. Don't hang your joy on them. People come and go. Systems come and go. But tonight, upon this altar, Whoever reigns in Nigeria, whoever reigns in the country where you live, the oil of God shall not cease in your life. The oil of gladness will not dry in your life. Your daughters will bring you gladness. Your sons will bring you joy. Your work will bring you joy. The dreams, the aspirations you carry will bring you joy. They will bring you gladness. Today, you shall live a stress-free life. Or oh, say amen with power. I have seen that when people don't operate under the oil, little things stress them. But when you operate by oil of God, you're handling 10,000 things, you are stress-free, and you have more joy. May the oil of God that breaks the yoke and silences Satan Rest on your life. Shout amen with power. Can't go on because of time. This is supposed to be for him or another one now. But we've got to stop now. Thou anointest my head with oil. My, my what? Look at me. The word cup there is my life. My life runneth over. Many people every time, my cup, my cup. No, 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 it's my life. So the cup there is symbolic of the totality of Matthew. My life is running over with oil. How many are ready for that? Thou anointest my head with oil. My, my life from today it shall run over. With the oil of joy, it shall run over. With prosperity, it shall run over. In the name of Jesus, shout amen with fire. Running over, running over. My cup is full and running over. Since the Lord saved me, I will be happy and blessed. My cup is full and running over. From tonight, this is the last one I do. And I hand over the mic. I declare from this day, June 9, 2023, to December 31, 2023, and the coming years of your life, your life will be running over with joy, running over with favor, running over with blessing, running over with glory, running over with prosperity, 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 running over with... Somebody 
shout yes! Put your hands together. Let's bless the Lord for Pastor Matthew for being such a blessing to us tonight. Hallelujah. If you haven't given your offering, please make sure you don't leave the service without leaving your offering. If you want to make your check, make it payable to KICC. And if you want to give with the card, we have the POS machine over there. Somebody will serve you on your way out. And we 